Okay, I think we're live. Uh, I'm just going to wait till um, uh, we're sure we're other people are saying, okay, I see claps, but can you see, can someone say in the chat if they can see our stream? Okay, Bobby says we're live. So we're live. <laughs> Good. Um, thank you for, uh, <laughs> I was commenting that I like the Blackboard uh, style. Uh, so I guess uh, my first question would be, um, how I, oh, there you go. Uh, Myra uh, is asking for a question. Can you give us an example of a permutation versus an array? Yeah, sure. So an array is literally just a two dimensional grid. So like a 2D array and a permutation is just an ordering on, in this case, the rows. So we're interested in a representation of covering arrays that is useful for genetic algorithm purposes. And a permutation is a much smaller representation compared to the giant array, um, which is what most uh, previous works have done. So um, yeah, so a permutation is just um, an ordering on the rows in this case, which is a lot smaller than the, the whole array. Uh, so how does approach scale then? I guess you can, you can have I don't know, hundreds of like a vector that's a thousand uh, line song. So I guess, <laughs> yeah, basically if you comment on yeah. scalability. So the, the mathematical definition allows you to have any number of columns that you want. So in fact, it could be trillions of columns long if you wanted to, but in a realistic setting, it's applied to an actual system. So the columns are representing the, the components of that system. So depending on how fine grained you want this to be. So if I have 10 components versus a thousand, it really depends. And as the number of components increases, the number of tests uh, to adequately test the system also increases, but only in a logarithmic way, which is pretty cool. So what we want instead of having uh, something times something be the size of the representation. We only have one of the dimensions be the representation, which is a lot smaller. Uh, the time to uh, evaluate the fitness function is exactly the same, pretty much. Um, but the representation is a lot smaller and it allows us to get further improvements because the, the, um, the search space is so much smaller. Thank you. Um... Another question. Well, more comments I want to read from Myra. Uh, permutation arrays have been used as seats for covering arrays. Seems like there is a connection here. Um, it, I yeah. guess you can so, seeds, so, uh, seeding as well. Yeah, yeah, I see that question. So permutation arrays, um, the, even though it sounds exactly the same, it has uh, only a slight uh, relation in between. So uh, permutation arrays are basically just in a different sense, a more compact representation. But if we use genetic algorithms toward that particular type of array, which I've done in a personal project, uh, the size of the dimension is, uh, is very similar. It's something times something else. Whereas if we just have a simple array like this, then you can always apply a permutation to it regardless of the contents or how it's evaluated. Um, as long as it has the same type of structure as a covering array does, we can always have this permutation type uh, representation. But I, I, I do uh, see that question and I, I do think it, it's worth exploring, um, applying this to other types of arrays like permutation arrays, the, there's a more complicated name to them. Um, there are uh, uh, different types of things which are more related to a genetic improvement type setting um, in terms of trying to do fault localization onto what uh, paths through the code are the ones to search for. And also to have automatic software repair actually be automatic versus having someone design the test suite for you. 
and to have this thing not only generate the test suite for you, no ha have no humans involved at all, but have to have guarantees that the human may or may not uh, have thought of when designing the test suite. So yes, yeah, so it could be uh, uh, applied to many different types of arrays. Cool. Uh, slightly different uh, question. In program repair or GI, there was a switch from full verbose abstract syntax trees to a patch or delta representation. Do you see this move from full arrays to permutations as similar? Uh, I don't think so because it's just a per similar in the sense that it's a different type of representation, but the um, the, um, the sentiment behind that switch from patch to delta isn't quite the same as this because it's still doing the same fitness evaluation, like literally exactly the same, but applied the fitness to different parts of the test suite at different points. So it's still going to evaluate the same number in some sense um, in terms of the array actually being a covering array but the value that we're calculating is different. So whereas with patch and delta, that's an, a, totally different, um, a totally different viewpoint on how to actually uh, evaluate whether a program actually passes uh, a test suite. OK. Um, there aren't any uh, more questions. I always did comment that he liked your Blackboard style. I do want to say, uh, sorry, still a few seconds of the <laughs> Uh, of this uh, talk, just to say that uh, this is the last talk of the day, and we'll have a best presentation awards. So, I'll, right after this Q and I'm going to post a link so that people can vote. You have one vote; it's anonymous. And as I say, or we have one vote, so uh, I will <laughs> post the link so we can vote <laughs> anonymously. And during the awards session, we will uh, reveal the winner uh, of that. Uh, so please vote during the break. And one last, uh, I guess, uh, sorry, we've got 10 seconds. <laughs> I'm feeling under pressure, which question to ask. Uh, I think I'm going to give up, sorry. Uh, we're going okay. to go into this discussion session in a sec. Um, 